In this video, I will be reviewing the Coils by Nature products, in particular, the Fragrance Free line. I'll be reviewing the Hydrating Hair and Scalp Shampoo, the Ultra Moisturizing Cocoa Aloe Deep Conditioner, the Moisturizing Shea Aloe Leave-In Conditioner, and the Nourishing Hair and Body Butter, all of which are fragrance free. I'll start off using the Hydrating Hair and Scalp Shampoo. This is more like a mousse. Um, it does not suds up a lot. You'll see a few suds, a, a little bit of lather, but it doesn't last very long. Um, it's a good shampoo, but if you're trying to clarify, this probably won't do it. Next, I will be using the Ultra Moisturizing Cocoa Aloe Deep Conditioner with Argan Oil. This is actually a really good deep conditioner. My hair felt really moisturized almost immediately. It didn't have the most slip of any conditioner that I've ever used, but it was slippery enough where it made my hair very easy to detangle. After sitting under the dryer for 20 minutes, I rinsed the deep conditioner out and now will be applying the moisturizing Shea Low Leave-In Conditioner with Argan Oil. Um, this is like a liquid. It's not too watery, but it is a liquid. This felt very good on my hair and moisturized also immediately. I didn't have to let it sit or anything. I applied it all the way around to my hair so my hair didn't get dry before doing the twist. Okay, so next I will be twisting my hair with the Nourishing Hair and Body Butter. And this is a really thick, heavy butter. So if you're not a fan of that, this won't be the product for you. I actually really love it. It's just a whole bunch of good butters like cocoa butter, shea butter mixed with a whole bunch of good oils like olive oil and Jamaican black castor oil. This butter can be used on wet or dry hair and it won't weigh your hair down. Just remember not to overuse the product. I probably put way too much on my hair, but it's just because I'm heavy handed. Okay, so twist out again, <laughs> my signature style. Okay, so I don't know what um, order I'm posting my videos in. So there's an elephant in the room and that is you guys can see this mess right here in the front of my hair. That's because if I haven't sh posted the video already, I just wanna let you guys know I dyed my hair. Of course, I got hot scalp, even though I did my roots last. Um, you cannot in this, Lighting, I don't know if how good you can see the color of my hair is. I dyed it auburn, soft auburn. Um, I hope you can see that color. I can see it better in person than you probably can see it on video. But anyway, I just want to put it out there just in case I don't know which video I'm going to end up posting first. So, but besides that, this little color um, fiasco, this little color situation in the front right here, um, this twist out is looking really good it's really defining my hair i can't even explain to you guys how soft my hair feels um i'm gonna go in order just to recap the products but i will say that my i think my favorite thing is the butter but anyway so first the hydrating hair and scalp shampoo fragrance free all the products are fragrance free um as you guys saw this is like a like you shake it up it's like a foam it's like mousse kind of you wash your hair if you're looking for something that suds up a lot this wouldn't be the product for you, but it did clean my hair. It did clean my scalp, so it's fine for me. I like it. Um, it's not, I won't say there's anything extraordinary about this though, but it's a good shampoo. So next I use the Ultra Mo the Fragrance Free Ultra Moisturizing, they call it Cocoa Aloe Deep Conditioner with Argan Oil. Um, this is a good deep conditioner. Um, my hair right now is in pretty good condition, believe it or not, even with this dye job. And so um, I didn't need it to do much for me, but it did make my hair 
feels super soft and I kind of as I was applying it I kind of felt it immediately and my hair was really easy to detangle I won't say this has the most slip of any conditioner I ever use but the slip was good enough and um, I'm definitely happy about this product and I will be purchasing it again along the shampoo is fine as well so next I use the fragrance free moisturizing shea aloe I think that's how you pronounce it leave-in conditioner with argan oil of course um, again, this is just a good leave-in conditioner. I did feel it moisturizing my hair immediately, where some some leave-in conditioners, I have to let it sit on there for a while before I actually feel that it's doing anything. This is just a good leave-in conditioner. Um, again, I don't know if I'll say 100% this is my absolute favorite, but considering it's favorite, considering that it's fragrance-free, which is my whole issue, my whole problem right now is the, all the smells and everything. Um, this one will rank <laughs> as number one. It doesn't bother my allergies. So I'm going to keep using this as well and I will repurchase this again. Last but not least is my absolute favorite and that's the Nourishing Hair and Body Butter. Um, yes, you can use this on your skin as well. And I read the ingredients. There's nothing weird in it or anything. And like I might have mentioned this before, how she makes this fragrance free is that she doesn't add, first of all, any kind of synthetic fragrance as well as there's no essential oils in the products and I know some people probably will look down upon that I personally don't care I rather for I, me to be able to smell it and not to stuff my nose up not to make me sneeze and not to bother my very sensitive skin so I don't care about essential oils um, I found my hair can survive without them I don't really need them and so this just has a whole bunch of butters in it like cocoa butter shea butter cocoa butter it has sweet almond oil in it um avocado oil just really some really good stuff it's just butter it's very thick I love thick butters in my hair so um this is definitely a keeper for me I don't know if I use this on my skin but definitely for my hair I love this my hair is really soft and I can already tell like I don't know how you guys would like this when I rub my hair and my hands feel moisturized not sticky not slimy not you know not anything bad but it just feels like maybe I just put lotion on my hand or something I like that in my hair because that means this is going to last and I might not have to redo it, um, apply more product throughout the week or if I do maybe just once a week, which is what I like because I'm a very lazy natural. Um, but anyway, so coils by nature, really, they have my business now. Um, I don't know if I specifically said this, but I am kind of like, <laughs> kind of sort of going completely fragrance free right now. So if you rec, I want you guys to recommend products to me. But if you are recommending them, I want recommendations for fragrance free products. Um, actually, one of my subscribers told me about Coils by Nature and I, I don't remember which one it was, but I thank you so much because I didn't know they had a fragrance free line. All their stuff is not fragrance free, but she makes specifically fragrance free products, which is just that's just awesome. I wish more companies would do that. Actually, more and more people are having allergies and stuff. So I don't know why people are not jumping on that. Another one is Moisture Love. Um, theirs is kind of costly. I don't know. And they haven't been out as long as Coils by Nature. So I don't know about that one. But that's kind of on my list. Also, what I want you to know is that some um, products say they're fragrance free. But they're not. They think that if they don't add um, synthetic fragrance, that's considered fragrance free. And it's not. Like, for example, um, Jesse Curl, I think it is. I was reading the reviews on some of their stuff. And they have fragrance free conditioners, which I really wanted to try. But people were saying it smelled like... Um, essential oils and stuff and so I don't want that either and so this to me this coils by nature is the next best thing to me just making products myself so anyway if you're not already a subscriber to my channel subscribe if you like this video thumbs up and also if you have tried coils by nature or you have some ideas about other fragrance free it can be I can I maybe can consider real super light fragrance but really I prefer fragrance free please let me know because I want to try some other products I love coils by nature but you know I'm still kind of a little bit of a product junkie so I would like to try some other things as well so drop anything um any information that you have for me in the comments if you have any questions drop those in the comments as well and um if you have <laughs> If you, if you you guys are probably want to know what I'm going to do to fix this. I'll have some videos coming up. I am going to fix this. It When I put my hair back in a ponytail, it doesn't look <laughs> as bad. But like right now, it looks kind of ridiculous. But the twist out is good. So that's all that matters. Plus, we're in a pandemic. I'm not even going anywhere. So I really don't care. And um, <laughs> since I've just stayed in the house, if I want to jack my hair up, now is a good time for me to do that. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.